Hello, Star Wars fans. We are back with you today. Uh, Chris uh, and I, Patrick, uh, here to talk HasLab. Uh, it is it is the all HasLab show today. Uh, there's nothing else, no other product, no other reveals, no Black Series 6-inch, no premium role play. It is all HasLab all the time here on the live stream today. Uh, and we're excited. I'm excited. How about you, Chris? Are you excited? Absolutely. Yeah, so much more fun stuff to show. It's great. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is all going to be about HasLab. And, and Chris, uh, just tell us kind of where we've been on the campaign so far and what we're doing today. Well, we uh, we launched with those rendered images like you're seeing here. Uh, and you guys shocked us with your response. It was, it was overwhelming. We loved it. Uh, and it's obvious you guys care as much about this as we do. So it's it was just fun to see all of that coming through. Uh, so I think it's uh, it's been great to kind of look through all that stuff, but we've got some more fun stuff for you today and we get a good look at the first gray model, a physical sample here today, yeah. so. That's right, exactly. So it's been all renders up till this point. Um, and as Chris mentioned, it's been a great campaign so far, but, but here on the show today, uh, we are going to reveal the first uh, images, first videos of the physical model. This thing is real. Uh, it exists. Uh, we've seen people holding it in their hands uh, difficultly. It's very large. Uh, but that is going to be the main focus of the show today. Uh, we have a few small tidbits at the end, some news, some housekeeping that we'll talk about. Uh, but yeah, as, as Chris mentioned, it's been a fantastic campaign thus far. Uh, honestly, you know, you you guys, you fans, you're so amazing. Uh, you you always shock us, you always surprise us, and and it's fantastic. So obviously, we launched uh, the HasLab Razor Crest campaign two weeks ago at PulseCon. Uh, you know, it's from the Mandalorian. It's so relevant. Uh, great ties to the original trilogy. Uh, and, and you know, just as we said, uh, it's just a great fit with the Vintage Collection fans, uh, with the Vintage Collection brand. Uh, a perfect fit. Uh, and we just wanted to to watch that launch video one more time as as we say goodbye to the renders again from here on out it's going to be physical models so let's uh, see that launch video with renders one last time roll film Awesome. Yeah. Uh, we gave it a big yeah. cheer on the, the, uh, on the launch live stream and, you know, we'll definitely give it another uh, round of applause. Uh, Absolutely. That's a fantastic yeah. video. It's just so inspirational. Um, and obviously it had a fantastic effect. Uh, it's been a great campaign. You know, we said uh, when we launched uh, this HasLab campaign, uh, we kind of harkened back and took a trip down memory lane with the barge. Um, the barge was fantastic, but it was definitely a, a we, I think we called it a fun campaign and it was uh, but there were some twists and turns, uh, some tense moments. Uh, no tension here. Uh, you guys funded this Razor Crest. 
uh, in a little over 24 hours. Uh, we looked away and it was funded. Um, and then you guys kept going from there. Uh, we unlocked the first tier uh, just three days after that, the escape pod, which you're seeing here. Uh, you know, if this wasn't funded, it would have been molded in, uh, but now it's unlocked and you have that fantastic escape pod uh, that kind of brings to life uh, that part of the vehicle. And of course, uh, the latest news, as everyone knows, uh, we unlocked the carded child tiered offering just two days ago on Wednesday. You're seeing it here. Uh, this is, you know, the first ever vintage the child uh, that we're seeing here. Uh, which is amazing. Now, of course, we will do other the childs. Uh, I don't know if it's the childs or the children. I don't know, but we will do other the childs in vintage collection. But that specific look is exclusive to Haslab. Uh, the pram has an exclusive deco treatment, and uh, uh, let's break some news here. That pram is going to be vac metalized. Uh, that's right. Uh, we figured out the process there. We're able to apply it here, so that pram will have an exclusive vac metal treatment that we won't see anywhere else, exclusive to HasLab. Uh, it's an exclusive card back. The child itself has a head sculpt on hand sculpts that will only be in HasLab. So that's gonna be a great item uh, for years to come. Uh, it was unlocked at 10,000 backers, uh, quite a milestone. The first Star Wars HasLab ever to reach 10,000, uh, but you guys are gonna keep driving uh, long past that. Um, so. So again, uh, that was that was fun. But the main goal of today is to really dive into the physical model videos. Uh, we've got about 15 minutes of video. We've got Chris Reif here, who is the maestro of this vehicle. He's going to uh, guide us through it, tell us what we're seeing. Um, so we're going to take a look at those uh, physical gray model videos. So Chris, uh, tell us the first one we're going to see. Yeah, well, the, the first one here uh, is just a it's a great shot of the person interacting with it for the first time that this is the first time I saw someone interacting with it was on these videos and man, it, it took my breath away just how big it was. Like you kind of know cognitively how big this is, but then when you see someone interacting with it, it, it really seats that home. It's amazing. So you get to see there how it would have come out of the box with those engines off the landing gear off guns off. And then that's all there is to put it together and, and be flying it around so just some yeah some some super simple assembly but also fun play for for popping those off for different things so lots of great Absolutely. detail shots here just some quick pans so you can kind of see all that that surface detail all that stuff we talked a little bit about that in our launch video but seeing it here in the physical model like we've really maintained all that and gotten a good look at it so it it's super exciting to see it physical like that. Yeah, that's amazing. I, I think then, you're right. Yeah. Here we got the shot of the side door coming open and pulling that ramp down. So pop that out, be able to walk up inside there. And we can we can see the figure here. So again, that's a, an early figure. It's gray model with a cape, but it's going to look great. Yeah, and just some more like panning shots to give you guys a really good look at this thing good look at how all those forms are really coming together. And again, I mean, this is, this is a gray model in prototype, but it will, it will have color when, when it's released, it will be painted rest assured. I know there were some questions about that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, this is not a, this is not a kit. This is a toy. So here's a great shot looking up into the back of the cargo hold, opening that door ramp coming down. Or we see that prototype figure, again. figure standing on top of that. Yeah. Just zooming in on some of those details inside the thing. Let me go here to uh, that top panel coming off. We talked about how we did that to get some great access down inside, but you can also see those little hooks to hold carbonite blocks there and move around. The left side door coming off. Yeah, those carbonite blocks, they would be a, a, an interesting item at some point in the future. So we'll, we'll see what happens with those. We've got to save room for all the possibilities. But That's there's right. that side panel <laughs> off, looking inside this thing. All sorts of great room inside there. So good pan through that. So just some fun stuff. Um, yeah. I think the next one we've got coming up. Yeah, here's another shot just showing how that 
that carbon freezing chamber we saw in that first episode opens up. There's some great play value there for throwing figures into. Some other shots. Here's the uh, the weapons locker opening up. And as we talked about in the live stream, it will come chocked full of a full Mandalorian arsenal in there. So every one of those little pieces comes out. Will all be a, a great addition to any vintage collections arsenal. So some super fun play there. Great details and really accurate to the show. So everyone you see in the show, you'll see in that. Here we've got a, a look at the the bunk in that refresher area. So you pop that that little door off and and see there inside the bunk. Fold the little cargo compartment area down, stash your stuff in there. The refresher with all those great details, the hose standing there in the front, all that molded in detail, just some really fun stuff. So. Absolutely. Here we're moving on to the, the cockpit. So open this up a little bit, see inside there. So top comes off so you can really get full access down in there, play with all those controls super detailed dashboard panels, three seats. And as you guys guessed, there's a, there's a missing knob there from that one control. I <laughs> love that you guys kind of picked solved. up on that detail. <laughs> so yeah, and you'll notice there next to that, there's also a little peg on the top. So a, a great place for that figure to stand and, and really pose out some fun scenes in that cockpit. So just some more more detailed shots here, really showing you all the switches, the extra seats, all the space in there to little to stash your goodies around the cockpit. Really get the figures in there, play with all that. So some super fun features, we think. Uh, and you can see the. You know, you through, get to see I think we can see that figure through that that cockpit glass. So again with that soft goods cape, uh, he will he will fit in there, which is kind of the whole goal of that soft goods cape. It looks fantastic. He's in charge. He's piloting it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He looks a little big in there. That's because that's a prototype and it's actually a little bit upsized. Um, but yeah, he he looks super great in there sitting in that seat. Yeah, absolutely. You've got that that rear cannon. We we talked about a little bit on the live stream. So some more fun detail that we got to add in here. Some great play features and more pop-off panels. You can even see down inside there some of the, the panel detail and support detail underneath that. And then removing the, one of those many panels we showed, the back side there around the gun. So blasting away and all sorts of fun hidden panel detail reveals of mechanisms and wires and hoses and anything you can imagine buried down inside there. They all pop right back on, and back to a full ship. So, clicks right in place, and just some good stuff. So, and we'll run through some more of the uh, the removable panels, so you can see some more of the the underside detail on the physical model here. So that one from behind the cockpit, over on that shoulder area, and just some close up of some of that detail down inside there. There's some great, very detailed, some asymmetry and fun, fun stuff of, of all those pipes and hoses to really kind of explore. This one popping off some of those engine cover details. So you'll be able to, to open those up and look down inside the engine core and really explore what might be going on inside the Razor Crest. So yeah. fun stuff there. More panels coming off. Uh, we said on the launch how it's, this isn't just kind of a shell. It's in keeping with those vintage principles. And yeah, it's great to see kind of the, the layers and the level of complexity. Yeah. And you can see here just and it just keeps going. Every time I've, I've played with this thing, <laughs> I keep I keep remembering that, oh, yeah, there's another panel. Oh, yeah, there's another panel. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I think that's part of the fun where like, once this thing's stripped down, it really does look like yeah. 
like the hordes have come in and, and ravaged yeah. your ship. So yeah, yeah super Just fun. Just like stuff. an episode two. Yep. And then here's a nice panning shot just to see all those separate parts that we just pulled off land there. Uh, and you'll even notice even as many as that is, it's still not all of them. The Those rear couple <laughs> panels on the, the back that we saw around the rear blasters in that rear deck, those are still on the ship there. So there's there's even more beyond this. And then when you consider the the, the engines coming off and the the big main cannons up on the front coming off as well this thing this can can get stripped down to the bones so yeah. really fun to see all that stuff through there so mm -hmm. you can see a bunch of that detail well, down inside great. the cargo hold it's it's i was just gonna say it's great just like the those exploded uh views that we had uh in, in rendered form uh, just kind of, I love these images, these uh, videos, uh, just to, like you said, kind of appreciate the level of complexity that goes in here, all the pieces, all the layers. Um, it, it really is a work of art, so congrats. <laughs> well, it's, you said I was the maestro earlier, but this is really, it's there's an orchestra working on this thing. The and whole team, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, the whole team. So it's, it's insane. Um, We've all spent so many late nights, long days and hours on this thing because we're, we care so much about making it, making it the product that we want ourselves. So, and then the reaction has been, has been gracious and awesome from everybody. So we, we love the feedback and we want to keep doing this. So. Absolutely. So yeah, just some, some really fun stuff there. We'll do a quick time lapse here of putting it all back together so you can kind of see how that might happen, get it back into shape. So even when the hordes do come in and steal all your panels, you can still <laughs> you can still get your ship back in order and flying again. So. It's a lot easier for us to do it than it was for Mando after the uh, the off world Jawas had their way with it. <laughs> right. Well, we don't we don't have an Ugnot helping us, but <laughs> that's true. There is some more fun, fun appreciation shots of the thing here. And we're a little gratuitous with this, but we love it. And I know everybody out there is going to love all this detail too. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's so fun. I know I keep saying that, but man, it, it, I think that every yeah. day I look at this thing. And it's great to drink in. It's, you know, I remember when I, I first got the barge and kind of unboxed it and put it all together and it, it took a while, but that's a good thing. And this is going to be the same way it's going to, it's going to take a long time to like uh you know explore all the nooks and crannies but that just speaks to how how fantastic it is yeah and and just how much stuff there is to do with it too beyond just yeah. sitting there and looking at i mean there's so much to discover about the thing as you as you pull off panels and and peer into those insides and really get a chance to study the ship and, and i know we've talked about this before but there's there's details on here that you don't get a chance to really look at in the show. And once this yeah. thing's in front of you, you get a chance to sit there and spend hours staring at it and discovering new things. And That's even as much time as I've spent on it, even, even just a little bit ago when I was playing with this model, like there's, there's details that, that I had forgotten we included in here. So just getting time to spend <laughs> with it again and go back and look over stuff. So, these are some just some nice close up shots to really get in there. The stills and let you guys appreciate the detail. Yeah. All that fun face detail or front detail on the ship. Landing gear. You can see all the, the little doors on the landing gear all open and closed. So you can pull those gear out, fly the thing around with all the gear doors closed up. That, uh, that back opening there with all that stuff, the inside the engines and all the turbine fan detail stuff going on in there, the missing hunk from that engine, that front landing gear, the belly of the thing. I don't think we really showed that much before, but there's a good shot looking at that and kind of the asymmetry detail that's so famous and ubiquitous in Star Wars vehicles. And then here we've got a close-up look at that escape pod area. 
Yeah, this is the, oh, yeah, we'll get, we'll get to more of that in a bit. Some fun look inside the engines. And in this prototype, we had those, those rear pieces molded in orange for fun. Um, so there's the, how you get to the escape pod. So. Uh, the, the video that we might not have included, had we not, uh, had we not unlocked that tier, but yeah, we, we hit that backer goal and now this is part of a ship and you can kind of see the complexity of it uh, that we're, we're now building in. Well, yeah. And I mean, Patrick, I don't know if you remember those, the early models we were working on with this for the first version where you didn't have yeah. all this detail in the back where that yep. just that escape pod thing was molded in and it was, it was breaking our hearts that we couldn't get it in there. So that's, that's why we wanted that. it so early yeah. in the campaign is to make sure we got that extra detail for everybody. Absolutely. I'm, I'm glad that it's unlocked. That'll be great. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, and it, yeah, it, it, def it, yeah. and it definitely bears repeating. Like it looks so amazing, but uh, Chris mentioned this earlier. Um, you know, it will be painted ultimately. Like it looks, it looks fantastic <laughs> as a, a gray model. Uh, but, but there is definitely that, that next step. Uh, when, when you guys receive it uh, in the mail, it, it will be fully painted uh, and it will look amazing. So uh, but, but yeah, this was fantastic, uh, just to kind of take a, a deep dive into it, uh, and kind of, yeah, ex exploring all the nooks and crannies with our, our maestro, uh, of the whole orchestra to be sure, <laughs> uh, Chris Wright. Um, so that was fantastic to see, uh, that video footage is going to be available on the HasLab website. Uh, so check that out. Uh, and we're also sending it out. We want to make sure that everyone has a chance to see it and pause it and kind of focus on the areas that they like most. So. Uh, definitely take a look at that. Uh, we do have a couple more uh, small tidbits we want to share today. Uh, again, all focused around HasLab. That's the, the focus of this whole live stream. Um, so so uh, Mandalorian figures. So we've seen some good comments and questions online about that, that first wave of Mandalorian figures that we did earlier here in 2020. Uh, Mando himself, uh, Cara Dune, and the Remnant Trooper. And I've just seen really good questions like, hey, those figures were out. Uh, you know, not everyone got them. Uh, they kind of went quickly because, again, they're fantastic characters. Uh, we have ensured uh, those characters will see a re-release uh, around the time uh, the HasLab Vintage Razor Crest ships. So uh, if you got the Razor Crest and you don't have those three figures, uh, Mando, Cara Dune, and Remnant Trooper, uh, or, or if you didn't get the Razor Crest uh, because you were worried about those figures, rest assured, uh, we are going to make those available. Uh, they will see a re-release uh, you know, in about a year when... Uh, the Razor Crest ships. Uh, so that's good news. Um, we've also seen some uh, questions and comments online about, you know, the Razor Crest and, uh, you know, will it come back again? You know, is it uh, just in HasLab? You know, uh, just like with the barge, uh, you know, obviously we, we have, currently have no plans to do the Razor Crest again after HasLab. You know, don't see that changing. Uh, so if you think you want one, uh, this is the place to do it. Uh, we would highly recommend you back this project now because Again, no, no current plans to do the Razor Crest after HasLab. So uh, it's a fantastic vehicle. I know I've already uh, put my order in, uh, might do more, uh, but I, I want to make sure that I'm uh, getting this fantastic vehicle. Um, also just wanted to speak, uh, you know, uh, we've worked with our partners uh, in other markets to bring this item to as many fans as possible. Uh, so we're adding those backers in as we go, uh, those backers from other markets. So. Uh, again, we've seen some comments online. If you see some small jumps, uh, that's why. Uh, and, you know, they, they've been with us throughout the journey, kind of as we back the, the core vehicle and then each tiered offering, we've made sure to, to add those in because uh, we want to make sure that our, our friends in all markets are kind of responsible for helping us on this journey. Yeah. Um, and then uh, tiered offerings. So, uh, you know, as mentioned, you know, the, the reaction was was amazing and obviously, you know, different from the barge. And so uh, that was a, a wonderful surprise. And so, you know, as we said, we quickly uh, hit our backer goal, uh, quickly unlocked the first offering and then again, unlocked the second offering uh, earlier this week. And, and that was all we, we had planned. So uh, after the campaign launched and we saw the, you know, I think we hit 4,000 in the first day and again, 6,000 on the second day, uh, we, you know, we quickly met up, we were texting over the weekend and met up early that following week. And so we we quickly worked hard. We put our heads together on we will have at least one more unlock, uh, one more tiered offering for this campaign. Uh, at least uh, we're putting the finishing touches on it. Uh, we, we were hoping to you know, be able to reveal it today, but don't have it ready. So 
Uh, we are hoping to reveal that early next week. Uh, so watch out for that. We'll see what it is, you know, let the speculation begin, but we're excited about it. Uh, we think that you guys will be as well. So uh, again, at least one more unlock uh, coming next week. Um, and that's pretty much it. So just remember the campaign ends November 9th. Um, don't wait for November. Uh, if you think you like this, uh, go to HasLab, uh, the HasLab site on HasbroPulse.com. Uh, you know, obviously it's funded at this point, so we're not extending the campaign. We were never going to. Uh, it's four weeks to go. Uh, this is the way. Chris, is this the way? Yeah, this is the way. All right. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great weekend.